but said last week there is nothing sweeter than Victory Monday. And that's where we're at. But for some reason, some Michigan fans, I don't think, are particularly excited, which I am somewhat perplexed by, right? That's what we're going to deal with this morning on The Morning Drip is this idea of, okay, so Michigan won the game, but they didn't win the game the way that I wanted them to win the game. And this looking forward to other games and saying, well, we're not going to win those games because blank. I understand the trepidation that some people have. Michigan did not even bother to try to pass the ball. I understand that that's an issue if they can't pass the ball. Jim Harbaugh insisted after the game that they can but they haven't really, they, they, they passed the ball okay. They didn't really try too much against Western Michigan. Against Washington, 7 for 15. I don't even remember how few yards, what was it, 33? Something around there. Pretty small amount. So, yeah, I understand it gets, it's frustrating. But running the ball worked. I didn't like the running the ball thing when it was happening for a minute. And then the eight play drive happened to start the third quarter. And I started kind of feeling, okay, I was still a little concerned when it was still just a two score game. I understood the defense was, you rely on your defense. The defense was doing things for you. I was still concerned with it being a relatively new defense that uh, if it had one break right at that juncture, that suddenly the game changes on its head, right? You're up 10 nothing, and suddenly Washington scores. Then it's 10-7. It's, it's a different ball game. You know what I mean? Uh, that, that kind of prevailed a little bit. I wanted to see a little bit more killer instinct. But at the same time, Michigan was essentially in no danger of losing the game. From almost the beginning of the game forward, it was pretty clear that Michigan was going to be the better team. But you see so many people that are reacting to this game, this 31-10 to 10 win over a Washington team that was ranked. I understand they lost to Montana. This is embarrassing. That doesn't mean they're not a good team, right? Michigan in 2007, they obviously lost to Appalachian State. What did they do to finish the season? Beat Urban Meyer, Tim Tebow, and the Florida Gators who won a national championship the year before and then won a national championship the year after, right? Like, just because you lose to an FCS team, it doesn't mean you're not a good team. It means there are issues with your team, potentially. We'll see where Washington goes. Now, if you're a Michigan fan, obviously, you want to be a big Washington fan going forward. But this, like, hand-wringing over the style of win. I, I get it. Everyone wants to see a really good passing attack. I'm among them, right? I, I want to see, I, I've been waiting to see that, you know, that year when someone eclipses John Navarre. I mean, it's been 20 years basically at this point. And 3,331 passing yards in a single season is not really a lot anymore. You know, you, you see it eclipsed every single year by someone out there, right? Um, I mean, it's not even 3, 300 yards a game, uh, which is still, I mean, that's a pretty high number nonetheless. But, I mean, if you're rushing for 300 yards a game, that's great in and of itself, you know? And if you're able to do it against uh, Washington, which has a solid front, and it's the game plan not to rush 56 times in a game or whatever it was, but to uh, to at least be able to, to, to continuously run the ball because you knew that the pass defense on the outside was going to be difficult. That's what Jim Harbaugh said. Uh, I did go into this game feeling like the pass defense was the, the best thing that Washington had to offer defensively, just aside from the uh, defensive front. And... Uh, yeah, aside from that, like it's things are just going to 
Like, if, if you're able to continually run down their throat, get six-something yards per carry, then why would you ever stop doing it? And the thing is, people keep on saying, we're not going to beat Ohio State if this is what we, what we do, if this is how we play. Well, have you watched Ohio State? And now, I'm not saying that Michigan will beat Ohio State, but what's Ohio State's biggest weakness right now at the moment? It cannot stop the run. What is Michigan's greatest strength at the moment? It runs the ball with impunity. Even when you know it's coming, you cannot stop it. So, there's a lot of time between now and then. And... Yes, I want to see more from the past game. But for this game, because each game does exist in a vacuum to some degree, we have seen Cade McNamara pass the ball, not just last week against Western Michigan, but we saw it in 2020 against Rutgers. He, he threw a lot. He made a perfect throw in this game to Cornelius Johnson. They just That was the only time they threw downfield. Yes, we will need to see going down the stretch, more of a passing game. They aren't going to be able to win every single game like they did this week. But they won the game handily this week by running the ball at an insane clip against a team that a lot of people going into the season said that was probably going to be able to beat Michigan. And a lot of, a lot of you out there who aren't taking the win are the, the ones that are saying, well, last week was just Western Michigan. And this week was just Washington who lost to Montana. At what point do you get rid of that? Like, if, if Wisconsin loses to Notre Dame in two weeks, then in Michigan beats Wisconsin, it's like, well, Wisconsin lost two games already. Right? Like, at some point, you have to take off of all of these... Uh, different caveats that you add and just take the win. You're not going to beat Ohio state right now. It's not happening right now, right? Like you wish you could play Ohio state right now because it looks extremely vulnerable by November 27th. Probably not the case, but you can't not how it works. So take the wins when they come, especially when they're dominant because make no mistake this win against Washington was as dominant as they come. And honestly, for Washington, it has to be insanely demoralizing because if you can't stop the run, when you go in, your game plan is to stop the run. Jackson Sermon said, our game plan is to stop the run. Michigan is like, all right, well, we'll run it every down. And you can't stop it at all? Not only can you not stop it, it's just every two runs at least you're going for a first down. Well, then, I mean, nothing more demor demoralizing in football than that. So, anyway, that's your morning drip for today. Felt like it took a lot longer. I don't know. Nonetheless, back to morning, though. At least today it is. Afternoon drip probably tomorrow.